Hey guys, this is Mehak from Coding Blocks, and today we are going to be in conversation with Bhavna Gurg, and she is going to share her experience of how she landed up in Microsoft. So, hi Bhavna. Firstly, congratulations to you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Bhavna, why don't you share just a brief little about yourself? So, from where you are, your college, and how you landed up here at Microsoft. Okay, so I am from typical Tier Three college. So and also I am experienced. So I have passed out in two thousand eighteen. I have two point okay. five years of experience now. So okay. I previously have worked with Ascom Technology and Cadence Design System. These two companies were my previous companies. So okay. I am a C plus plus developer there. So also in Microsoft, I have been offered the profile of C plus plus developer. So this is the brief about me. Okay. So, yeah. how was your experience at these companies which you worked before? Yeah, experience is pretty good. Like uh, I would say, Cadence is one of the best companies which I feel because the work there, the culture there is pretty good, and I've got to learn a lot of things there. So the experience was pretty good, I would say. Great. So from those companies to Microsoft. So what was yeah. the journey? How did you apply for the company? Okay, so actually I applied in Microsoft in 2019. So okay. somehow I got the call in 2020 October. So the process was uh, simple. Like uh, they first called me saying that okay my profile is shortlisted and I'll be having some uh, rounds of interviews. The whole interview procedure actually took only three days. The best part was that. So okay, within three days the interview process uh, was done. So the number of rounds were around seven total number of rounds and okay. every round was around dsl go and system design and everything so this was okay, so basically the focus more upon dsl go yeah yeah so mm -hmm. like rounds were like uh, uh, in round first uh, there were only two questions of uh, dsl go which was okay. around language tree and somewhat of strings were uh, involved in the questions and in round 2 it was around uh, some try data structure so that was again simple i would say the level was medium to hard uh, okay. that was not mm -hmm. uh, that much easy but yeah if uh, you somehow break down the problem into simpler things you would be mm -hmm. able to solve so that were the two rounds third round was around a mixture of data structures i used queues stacks heaps hash maps there was only one question but that question mm -hmm. was covering almost every data structure which i felt what was the question if you might remember yeah question was around like a uh, something like uh, there were two fold if you are given two folders then you need to find out the diff of the folders like that was something mm -hmm. uh, not typical question which you can find on leap code geeks or geeks or anything this is not a typical question but this is this is something like a daily life problem which he felt so he shared me his uh, life daily life problem and somehow this mm -hmm. question includes uh, this uh, all uh, all the ideas you might have heard of so mm -hmm. that was the question and around 4 was a complete system design interview uh, where he asked me to design chess and uh, so obviously the system design is not the round where you have a fixed solution so it was more of a discussion the more you discuss the more you the mm -hmm. more points you will get so mm -hmm. somehow that was the round 4 round 5 mm -hmm. was around system design and dsl go both the question was a uh, firstly design outlook because the company is microsoft so uh, they asked to design outlook and then he asked a problem which was like uh, in a in an organization of their n number of people so you need to find out the 30 minutes duration where mm -hmm. most of the people are free so you need to schedule the meeting so your system design should contain an api to schedule the meeting to design the calendar to take the input and then uh, like choose the 30 minutes where the maximum people would be free this is somewhat related to calendar matching problem 
but a lot of other concepts will also be used so i would mm -hmm. say questions were not typical like all the questions were new to me i was like reading out the questions for the first time there but yes if you are okay or you are in good enough with dslgo so you will mm. be able to solve and wrong sixth was some puzzles and basic discussion on my previous experience so okay. that was okay and the final mm. round was culture fit round so mm. where he asked about like uh, like whether you would be able to do this and what are the daily life challenges that you face what were mm. the technical challenges and non technical challenges how do you manage you are uh, like work from home because nowadays we are mm -hmm. doing work from home so this was the thing also i would suggest that if he asks easy question to you then he might expect that you don't uh, go with, with the optimized solution at the at first because that would okay. be like okay so you might have heard of that question so mm. go from the brute force to the optimized so that you can make some impression on him so i would say yeah so he wants multiple mm. solutions of the sim of the simple or easy question you can say so So they basically just need to hold your knowledge, practical, theoretical, yeah. everything that you can you yeah. know explain. Hmm. Great. Yes. So within a single question, you would be uh, like, yeah. So you would be able to uh, like mix up the data structures, all possible data structures. So don't think that hmm. okay, this will be having only DP. This will be having only graph. No, don't think like that because your question will be having a mixture of data structures and algorithms. So that is what they feel. So basically, your DS algo should be strong enough if you want to apply, in, yeah. you know, in such a company. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Bhavna, that was great. Okay. So, how did you prepare yourself for this interview? I mean, you must have done some particular uh, preparation for it. Yes. So, uh, actually, I purchased the course from Coding Blocks, uh, the Master C++ Launchpad course, last okay. year only, uh, uh, in around February or March. then i uh, initially actually since i was working so i somehow took out one hour from my day to day life schedule and mm -hmm. i started preparing about ds from those lectures for system design i like i to i bought some books for the system design part but for dsa i i was completely dependent on coding blocks uh, course so yeah that really helped me well because those lectures are uh, like focusing on the depth of uh, of the data structures there there's nothing like you are simply solving the question and you are mugging up the solutions there's nothing like that so you would be able to get the thorough knowledge of the uh, data structures there yeah so how come you know uh, you were working already in a company so yeah. how come you thought of, you know doing this course and you know uh, again starting from learning something and then applying for microsoft so how was it and how did you manage you know with along with the work to study yeah so i like i took out one hour from my schedule that okay i'll give this particular one hour only to my preparation mm -hmm. and also like i was somehow disappointed at first because i was not placed in any big tech company but i would say mm -hmm. don't get disappointed if you don't get your dream company in the first place because exactly. like mm -hmm. i was also in the same situation but somehow i realized that keep trying keep doing hard work and eventually you will end up with the in your dream company seriously it's not that mm -hmm. tough just mm -hmm. keep on like trying so you will get that particular place Somehow. Exactly. I mean, there are students yeah. uh, these days that we see they are obsessed with fan companies. So yeah. it's not like that. The very first company that you land up would be fan company. I mean, exactly. obviously you can work, have an experience firstly, and then you, maybe you can apply in those companies and get in. Yeah, yeah. And with experience, mm -hmm. you'll get different things also. Like mm -hmm. you'll get to know different things also apart from technical knowledge. Only uh, there will be different corporate things, corporate stuff. Obviously, so, that experience completely different. How when you get into a company, you learn a lot. Yes, hmm. yeah, sure. Great, that was great, Bhavna. Thank you so much for sharing your experience with us. I mean, 
any last tips any advice that you like to give yeah i would say that don't mug up the solution of the question because you will never get the questions in interview something like that you need to understand the concept and the knowledge of data structures also mm. i would say uh, the pro tip would be like use try data structure graph data structures and hash map these three are the most important data sets i would say because i used these almost everywhere so okay yeah. cool thank you bhavna thank you so much for joining us and i hope you will have a great time at microsoft and in yeah. future as well thank you and guys this is bhavna sharing her success story with us and there would be more so subscribe to our channel thank you so much yeah subscribe to coding blocks <laughs> thank you